Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another episode. Today I just wanted to do a quick little instructional video. Um, I have all my rods right here, raking up going to Oklahoma tomorrow. So um, I was rigging up rods. You know, I've never done a video over what knot I tie. You know, that's something pretty simple. Um, there's a lot of videos out there, but uh, I just wanted to give uh, my viewers my perspective on uh, the best knot to use all around. Um, I tie this knot with everything regardless of what technique or anything it is. Um, you know, and it's a lot of knot tying is personal opinion and confidence. Um, I feel like it's almost a lot more confidence than anything. If you're confident in your knot and you're tying the knot correctly, you won't have any problems. Everybody has their preference. I like this knot. It's easy to tie. I feel super confident using it because it just looks strong and I've never had an issue of breaking off a lot of fish other than just bad line or line fray. So never had any problems with knot failure and that's why I like this knot. It's pretty easy to tie and I just really like it um, with personal preference. But again, there's no right or wrong knot to use. Um, but this is a knot that I've used with mono, braid, and fluorocarbon and never had any issues with it. So I'm just gonna get uh, this carabiner right here and then some rope behind me and show y'all so y'all get an easier visual on how to tie this knot. Okay guys, for this demonstration, this is gonna be the hook or whatever you're tying the line to and this is gonna be your main line from your rod. So we're gonna start by just putting the line through the line tie. I'd get five to 10 inches. If you never tied this knot before, start off at 10. Um, you can never hurt and it's easier to work with a lot more line. Once you get good at it, then you can shorten down the links to minimize the amount of line you're wasting. So again, this is not the actual how much you should pull through. This is just me doing it with rope because it's pretty difficult. So again, just grab about five inches above your, um, above your bait. You're going to take your tag end right here and make sure you pinch this line right here because you're going to use the loop that it creates um, later in the knot. So all you're going to do is just go downwards and wrap your, your tag end around your main line um, four to eight times. I'm going to do like four wraps just because it's really hard to tie with this big rope. The bigger the size of the line, the less wraps you can get away with. Um, it's hard to tie the knot correctly with just um, it's hard to tie the knot correctly when you're using big big size line like 20 pound test or um, 60 pound braid um, so I'd, six, six wraps is about the average that I use um, it works with basically any size line and you can tie it correctly with just about any size so once you wrap um, however many times you feel the need to there's this loop right here that is created um, between the main line and the tag end and all you're going to do is put the tag end through that bottom loop right there, come back in the upwards direction, and that loop I told you that your your pinch would create is what you're going to stick the tag end through there. So this is going to look pretty bad uh, trying to cinch this down, but all you're going to do is pull down on the main line and make sure your tag end does not get pulled through this loop. So however you can do that, um, of course get the knot wet. Um, with your spit or the water or whatever just so you create the least amount of friction possible and you don't end up hurting yourself um, when you hook a big fish. There's no friction caused or anything like that. So all you're going to do is just keep pulling on the main line until you can get it tight going back and forth between pulling the tag end and pulling the main line until you feel everything is tight and secure. The good thing about this knot as long as if you're pulling on the tag end the knot comes out like that, but if as long as you keep tension on the main line, that knot's not going anywhere, which is pretty good because that's the only way the knot is going to come undone, and it's impossible, as, as long as you're not pulling on the tag end, which once you clip it down to the very end right there, there's no way that that thing's going to come undone. The only way to break this knot is to break the actual line. And that's user error because I'm not choosing the right pound test. So again, as long as you're pulling on the main line, no problems at all, no slips. Um, that's even with rope too. So again, that's what the knot should look like. Looks very, very strong, and it is. Those are the layers right there, how many times you wrap it. You're going to have that many things, and then the tag end should look like that. 
all you gotta do is make sure you hit, you put it through the bottom loop down at the bottom and then through the top loop that you create by pinching the lines together. So just wrap it as many times as you want, put it through the bottom loop, go back up the line and put it through the top loop, pull the main line, make sure you get the knot wet and then pull on the tag end. Just work it back and forth between pulling on the main line and the tag end till the knot is secure just like that. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this little tutorial on my favorite knot, the San Diego Jam Knot. Um, it's a great knot to tie, works for all applications. And uh, anyways, that was just my little input and I wanted to let y'all guys know if you had any questions about what knots I tie, um, use it if you want. If you have a certain knot, keep tying it, whatever. It's all about confidence. So if you feel confident tying the knot you have now, great. If you want to try something new and different because your knots are failing, try the San Diego Jam. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch y'all next time.